Hi, this is Claude West, uh, tipsaboutcats.com. I'm sitting here with uh, Tom Tom Lati Chops, who uh, is conveniently located on the paper on the chair. We just got finished reading uh, one of my previous blogs about why do cats always lay on the paper. And then I was telling Tom Tom about my newest blog, which is uh, talking about considerations for microchipping your kitty. Uh, certainly there there are issues on both sides of the uh, coin as far as microchipping but uh, I do think that uh, you know it's valid if you have a cat that uh, goes outside a lot and, and tends to kind of carouse around the neighborhood uh, as opposed to a cat who's you know just hanging in inside and, and you know pretty much uh, safe and sound so uh, in this blog we have a true story of a friend of mine who's lost two cats and was able to recover one of them because he was chipped. Uh, the other one is still missing in action. Uh, we hope to retrieve uh, that kitty one of these days, but uh, you know that that's that's the penalty of not uh, uh, having a caller with the phone number as well as a chip. Now the callers obviously cats lose those callers left and right because of their activities but the other thing is uh, a chip properly installed by a licensed veterinarian uh, will potentially you know get a phone call from somewhere wherever the kitty might have ended up uh, assuming that somebody took the cat in and, and actually took it into the vet. So a number of things have to occur, obviously, uh, for the chip to work. But also uh, uh, rescue centers and pounds are also involved in the scanning process. So, you know, it, it's only if the cat's just out there hanging out and being feral uh, might you not get a call uh, with the chipped cat. So... Um, Read the blog, enjoy it. Uh, Tom Tom and I had a nice discussion about it. He said, "No chip for me," but you know, I'm. I say he's a pretty good boy. He hangs hangs close. He he doesn't stray too far. He's probably you know one one or two yards within our house. Uh, but you know, for that peace of mind, uh, a microchip certainly is is uh, a benefit. And there's a lot of ballyhoo about you know it being carcinogenic or, or maybe you know the procedure went wrong and, and injured your animal well that that's like one in millions so you know we're not talking major risk here uh, certainly uh, the cat's got a bigger risk crossing the street so uh, anyhow signing off for now Claude West at tipsaboutcats.com please come we got ebooks we got membership site at felinemembership.com and we got all sorts of blogs and Tom Tom likes to star in a lot of my videos again we're signing off have a great day thank you